Yamaha then signed Jorge Lorenzo as their second rider for 2008. It was a statement. Rossi was the past. Lorenzo was the future. In 2010, the 23-year-old rode a perfect season. He finished every race, took nine wins and seven podiums, and scored more points than anybody in history. Yo lo vi con cinco años ya. Era impresionante como era capaz de pilotar por encima de la lógica, no por encima de las leyes de la física casi. Entonces cuando ves cuando ves esto en un niño sabes que que ahí hay un potencial muy grande para llegar muy muy lejos en este deporte. Y aparte después pues tiene otra serie de cosas que es muy cabezón, que muy trabajador, persigue las cosas hasta que las consigue, es muy conformista, muy perfeccionista. Entonces todo eso ha hecho que que con las circunstancias adecuadas haya podido llegar a este nivel que tiene ahora. Danny Pedrosa excelled on the smaller bikes, winning three titles. In MotoGP, the diminutive Spaniard finished second to Stoner in 2007 and second again to Lorenzo in 2010, pushing Rossi down to third in the championship standings. It was Danny Pedrosa's moment. He took victory in Germany, Indianapolis, and the Czech Republic. With six races to go, he was just 13 points behind Jorge Lorenzo. Pedrosa qualified on pole for the next race the San Marino Grand Prix. Ready for battle, Danny Pedrosa. His fourth pole position of the season, round 13, the MotoGP World Championship. 13 points between number 26 and number 99. What's this? Bike being taken away for Danny Pedrosa. Is there some kind of problem for Pedrosa? who is in pole. What is going on? Oh, no. There is a problem with Danny Pedrosa's machine. This would not be fair. This really just would not be fair. He does not deserve this after the season he's put together. He's behind the safety car, isn't he? Please, no problem for Danny Pedrosa, because we want to see him and Lorenzo fight it out for the title. Will Danny Pedrosa get there? Here he comes. He's going to thread his way through. Just had a look there at Carol Anderson. He's starting from the back. back. To the grid. You cannot believe the misfortune. It's Lorenzo leading, Rossi in second, Bradl in third. Danny Pedrosa has everything to do on this first couple of laps. Well, there's some problem with the front brake. They managed to get it cleared. By that time, it was too late for Danny Pedrosa to catch the safety car, and that's why he had to start from the back of the grid. So Lorenzo's cleared off at the front. They come down towards the Kircher. 27 laps, definitely, in this race. And that's Pedrosa being taken down. He's been taken down by Hensa Barbara. And that could be the championship right there. I cannot believe he can't get through a season without something. Oh, that's just awful. Casey Stoner was back in time for his home race. And they warned me when I came back prematurely. They said, if you do crash and hurt your foot again, like you're probably never going to walk normally again. He took the 45th and final victory of his MotoGP career. But it was Jorge Lorenzo's day, his second MotoGP world title in three years.